Okay, well firstly thanks Steve for coming to talk to Dunlop. Uh, it's nice to be here at the 2017 TT with a 2009 Senior TT winner. Uh, there's been a lot of talk this week about the perfect lap. Uh, and as we know, you are still you still hold the the record as the sector five sector four is it sector four sector four Ramsey hairpin to the bungalow, and that was set in two thousand and nine, and that was set on uh, on your Dunlop winning tyres. So uh, it's nice to talk to you about it. There's a couple of things we'd like to ask you because obviously that lap, that sector record was set in two thousand and sixteen. Sorry, set in two thousand and nine all the other sectors have been broken in 2016 and it's a bit of a long-winded question because a lot's happened really since 2009 the bikes have obviously got faster the tires have improved dramatically we've got different constructions we've got different compounds we've got different size and a different profile we move from 16 and a half inch to 17 inch so tires have got better bikes have got better the riders have got fitter and better looking, obviously, <laughs> but 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 that sector record hasn't changed since two thousand and nine. What's the main reason for that? Pretty much two things haven't changed. You know, uh, one is the sector time, but the other one is my age. <laughs> obviously, <laughs> I still look the same. No, seriously, to answer your question, everything's moved on. You know. Uh, horsepower some of these bikes now are putting out an awful lot more horsepower um you know but development's gone on but of course you know back then i was a uh, kind of a still serving my apprenticeship really and pushing hard in various places where i felt comfy now when after the senior race sorry it was after the superbike race mm -hmm. the super tt race in 2009 when valentino and uh, uh ago were here spectating um, I finished second on the podium to, to McGuinness uh, and it was fabulous to, first of all to get you know presented with trophies from, from stars like that but uh, in that race I, I got two sectors one was from the Ramsey Hairpin to the bungalow but also bungalow to Crank um, a couple of years ago Guy Martin chasing Hutchie over there he beat my second sector which is fair enough but they'll always get beaten any record um, but for some reason Ramsey Hairpin to uh, the bungalow stood and still stands by about a second from Michael Dunlop last year on his lap record lap. Yeah, seven um, years. Eight years. Yeah. Eight years so yeah. far, you know, but obviously I'm very proud of, yeah. of that achievement. And to answer your question, I can't, I can't say too much. Some people would put it down to bike setup and various mm. things. Now, of course, like I said, um, that was a steep learning curve. I was only here for three years, enjoyed it so much. But for me, um, you know, getting to war in the twilight of my career anyway, there was never a big plan to come here long term competing. It's purely to come and uh, hopefully get a result, get on the podium, if not a win, and then probably walk away, which is uh, what I ended up doing. But um, I know I haven't answered your question yet, but I always, you know, the, the TT circuit is a very difficult place to learn, of course. That's why Milky and Johnny Barton spend so much time with the newcomers every year. Um, but for me, Places like Ginger Hall through to Ramsey were really difficult because it's uh, the rough, probably the roughest section of, of the TT lap. But for me, once I arrived um, to really to Parliament Square at Ramsey and made my way up to the hairpin, once I got towards the hairpin, my sort of mental attitude changed and it was you know more like right, left rock and roll. Mm -hmm. Everybody has their favourite parts of the circuit, and I wouldn't say. Um, it was the most enjoyable, but it was the probably the section from Ramsey Hairpin to the finish line that I felt more at ease with. Now I know it's an awful lot faster uh, those sectors, but it's somewhat, but you can see where you're going. And of course, I've always been quite a brave rider, uh, and in those sections, you can really you can pinch and squeeze and get get some you know extra run through some turns and and uh, be a little bit brave. Is it something that you talk about a lot, or do you know what? It's one of those things. Where I try and keep it to myself. You know, I'm, mm. I'm, uh, it's a personal thing. You know, obviously a little bit of ego there, but yeah. you know, it's something I keep very quiet about, and uh, and just kind of uh, don't like to mention it even to my friends. You know, people mention it from you know, time to time, but I just yeah. keep it to myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, Steve, thank you. It's been a pleasure talking to us, and hopefully, your record uh, stays for another couple of years. Thank you. Thank you.